Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage and today we're going to be talking about FPV crate for November 2019. I'm super excited to look into this because they've been putting out some videos toting what could be in this box. Total mystery to me still. I got my suspicions, but we'll find out. Want to check it out with me? Stick around. FPV Crate November 2019. So, before we even start with anything on this box, let's just talk about this gray plastic bag for a moment. I actually, I may be worried about the weird things in life, but I was curious about it. So I reached out to the folks over at FPV Crate to find out like, you know, what's going on. We had the clear shrink wrap. Now we got this bag, what's the deal? And it is confirmed it's because the clear shrink wrap was kind of delicate and could be susceptible to cracking, especially now in the winter when it's colder and could cause the shipping label to come off of the package. So they switched to the bag. They also went to something opaque instead of something clear for the sake that it didn't look inviting for porch pirates. If you're not familiar what a porch pirate is, they're people that steal other people's packages from their doorsteps. So this has a much more generic, you know, from China maybe even look, so it doesn't look as enticing as the FPV crate box would if you get my drift. With that being said, in all future videos from this day forth, I am just going to remove this plastic bag from the box and start from there. So in future videos, when you see it not in the bag, it's just because I removed it to save some time. So this is the last time you're gonna see it in a bag on my channel. But here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna bring you all in close. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing together, look at what we got in here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a cost analysis to see is it worth what we got and how much we paid and all that fun jazz. And then, you know, I'll talk about it and give you my thoughts on these different items. But before we get started with any of that, slam that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit that bell icon. It's completely free to you, but it does help support this channel. And it keeps you in the know when I post videos such as this one. And if you like what you see, maybe hit that like button while you're at it. Helps the channel out. All right. With that out of the way, come on in. Let's check it out. First things first, let's get this plastic off of here. Nice. Looks like they changed up the color scheme a little bit. It's looking a little bit more orangey instead of blue, which is kind of cool they switched that up. Loving that vinyl sticker. All right, let's go in. Pre-cut, oh yeah. Oh, love that sticker. Love, love that sticker. Little flip And here we go. All right, so first things first, we got our little sticker sheet. Let's pull that out here so we can take a look at that. Looking really cool. I'm liking that, it's got that heavy duty sticker look going on. Neat. Moving on, we have some packing material, so we'll pull that out of the way. And then let's go with this little deal here. That is pretty cool. What this looks like, it's obviously an FPV crate uh, keychain, but it's actually a PCB with different traces and stuff on there. You, know, you, probably, you could probably use this to practice your soldering because it does have some through hole, it does have different pads and stuff. I'll bet you this what this is. It's a little practice board to do some soldering or just use it as a keychain. That is pretty, pretty slick. All right, next up, we got this thing, which looks like it's probably going to be a gate. It pops open here, let's see. Yep, that's what we got here. You can't see it because it's actually off the screen, but it's basically like a little tiny whoop gate kind of action going on here with lots of Velcros all over the place. And I'm guessing these little guys to like anchor it and mount it and stuff. So that is a pretty cool thing for the tiny whoopers and all of us. Put that to the side. Oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I was completely wrong. I thought it was gonna be some sort of a video element, but clearly it's not. It's a motor. And you know me, when I when I see motors, I get excited. So we got a, a booster motor. It's a 2207, 2500 KV, 3S, 4S rated, 39 grams, naked bottom. You want to see the little statistics on that? There you go. Cool deal. That is pretty sweet. I'm loving some me some motors. Okay, take those out. And it looks like we have a shirt, and that will round out this box. So let's open up this shirt, and let's see what we got. That's pretty cool. There you go. It's very simple, but still gets the point across. Very, uh, it's the same logo that was on these stickers. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. All right, so to recap, we have a t-shirt. We got four motors, one, two, three, four. We have a sticker sheet. We have a solder practice keychain. And we have a Tiny Whoop style gate. And yes, I'll show you later how to fold that up because you're probably, once you open it, not gonna know how to refold it like I just did. So I will show you that after we do our little cost analysis and little connectors for that and our little cheat sheet. All right, let's run some numbers, see what we got in this box. There is so much value in this box that we have a lot to talk about. So let's get started. Here's your numbers. So first and foremost, let's start at that first line. No props. This box had no props in it. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It depends on how you want to look at it. It didn't have props, which is a good thing in the sense of that that's budget that went towards putting other items in this box, namely four motors, which is always a good thing when you can have a higher ticket item be in a box. However, if this is like, let's say your first box and you were looking forward to getting some props, then you might be missing that they're not there. Me personally, I have a ton of props from other boxes. I'm still working on going through those and I'm super excited to get a set of motors. So if that means I have to sacrifice props, I'm a-okay with that. Next up, we have the FPV Crate Micro Race Gate. And as promised, I will show you how to fold this up. So to fold this up, you hold it like you're driving the bus with your thumbs towards you, fingers away, driving the bus. Take one hand, it doesn't matter which hand, I'm gonna use my left hand, and you turn it upside down and reverse it. So now my thumb's on the outside and my fingers are towards me. From this position, you're gonna just do a half twist and bring it back to both thumbs up, both fingers out again. So it makes this little figure eight thing. From this point, all you do is you bring your hands closer together and you'll see it sort of collapses in on itself and just goes into that little, you know, you may have to do a little straightening up, but it'll form back into this little circle. Cause I'm sure a lot of you probably were like, oh wow, cool, what's this? Oh wow. And now how do I, fold this away again. So once again, flip it over, give it the twist, bring them together, and it sort of forms those little circles, and then you might just have to do a little clean up there to get everything all nice and even, and then you can use your Velcro straps or whatever to uh, anchor it. So that's how you fold it up. So one thing I found to be a little bit interesting and a little bit confusing at the same time, was they included a micro race gate that you would use for like a tiny whoop, tiny hawk, whatnot. But then they also included a set of five inch motors. So it seems a little bit disconnected. I mean, for me, it doesn't matter because I fly tiny whoops and I fly tiny hawks and I also fly three inch and five inch quads. But there may be some of you out there that are like, well, if I don't need that gate, I'm, I fly just five inch quads. So micro stuff usually isn't in these boxes. So the fact that something micro is in here is really cool because I feel there's a whole community of people that are into like micro quads that sometimes get a little bit left out. But at the same token, 
you may not need both. And you notice that the price on this is actually tagged in that little orangey peachy color. And we'll get to that in a little bit when we get down to the motors, why it's flagged like that for the pricing. Also with this, we have these little connectors. I'll give you a little close up of how these work. So basically this part, you just peel and stick. You stick that to the wall, the ceiling, whatever you want. And then you have this little part here. It goes into these little clips like that. You push it through and then it locks in and you could have your gate through here or however you want to attach it. You can make it as tight as you want. And then when you want to release it, it's reusable. You just reverse the process and take your gate off. So you can put your gate up and down, but it's still attached to whatever you attach to. And I'm sure this is not like a command adhesive. So if you go to remove it from the wall, you may do some damage. So just be careful when you're using that. And they did give you two of those in the package. Next up, the practice soldering board. I'll give you a little close up of it and all of its wonderment and glory. It is pretty cool looking. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. I mean, basically what this is, this is a uh, PCB with some traces put on there. And what's nice about it is they've given you a lot of options to practice with. You have big pads to solder on. You have little through holes to solder on. You have like a little pad to solder on. You even have these little itty bitty pads if you want to practice soldering on little itty bitty pads. And if you want to do even where you like flow solder onto a trace, you can flow solder onto the traces of the logo and make it look all cool. So it's definitely something that you can practice on. So I definitely like this. I don't think I would really use it as a keychain, just for sake that it's kind of sharp and stiff in my pocket. And I don't know if it'd be very comfortable to put my keys on it, but it is definitely a good tool for practicing because this is like a $2 item. If you screw up on it, it's no big deal. If you screwed up on like a flight controller or an ESC, that could be a big problem. So ideally, if your soldering skills aren't up to par, this is something excellent to practice your soldering skills on. Next up, we have the shirt. And I mean, I always love getting the shirts in these boxes. That's the prime reason why I subscribe to the quad box. And here in FPV Crate, every now and then we'll get a shirt too. This shirt is definitely cool. What I like about it is it's got a nice simple design and it's stylized enough so that someone, a, a lay person, if you will, and by lay person, I just mean someone not in the hobby of FPV flying, would look at it and just go, okay, that's a kind of a cool shirt. It's got a stylized design, cool deal, and off they go. But also someone who's in the hobby and in the community can look at that shirt and go like, oh, there you go. That's, that's someone who knows what's up. He's a pilot, he's a, you know, whatever. So there can be this, you know, communication that happens without even having to say a word, which I think is a really cool thing. It doesn't have to be over the top. It can be very subtle and just look pretty cool. You know, again, the only thing I always say, I like the darker colors, the maroons, the blues, the blacks, my own personal preference, uh, this lighter gray, I think it's called like a heather gray when it's got like that speckly thing to it, um, is definitely cool preferred over the white for sure. But you know, I like the dark colors, that's just my own personal preference. And last but not least, we have these booster motors. Let me give you a little shot of these. So you can see they are naked on the bottom. And I'll give you a little close up of the, uh, the bell there so you can see all the engraving and whatnot. And I will say they, uh, they don't have a very coggy feeling. They're actually kind of smooth. The motor wires coming out of it, I believe they're either 16 or 18 gauge. I had a little trouble reading it because the little printing on the wire was kind of smudged, but they're pretty heavy duty wire. And uh, they are compatible with uh, 3S and 4S. So to make sure I got you the correct information about these motors, I did reach out to FPV Crate and asked them a couple of questions that I had, questions and concerns so that I can make sure you have the correct information. So first and foremost, these kind of reminded me of like other companies that do will, will do like a custom motor for their company. Like Drone Drop, for example, in February had the box cutter motors in their box. And I'll, sometimes what they'll do is they'll take a motor that exists and just rebrand something because it's already developed, it's already existing, it's already ready to go. You're really just changing the color or changing the logo and you're done. According to them at FPV Crate, these were developed special for this box. But in my own mind, I'm a little, I, I take that with pause just because 
I, I'm sure they didn't start from scratch to develop a motor just for a mystery box kind of a thing. That That's like the type of commitment you would do for something you're going to be producing for long term. So this had to be some sort of generic something or other, and they developed it in the sense of they took a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and probably cobbled it together. Yes, this works, this has the performance we want, this has the specs we're looking for, okay, cool, produce it. So I don't think there was any like research and development put into this, but as far as it being not a clone of something, I, I would tend to agree. I don't recognize, like for example, the motor bell. I don't recognize, I mean, hey, comment down below, if you recognize this motor bell from another motor, like it looks exactly the same and all they did was just change the anno on it or change the printing on it, let me know. But I didn't recognize it. I didn't, you know, it didn't look like anything that I was familiar with anyway. And these are 3S and 4S compatible when they have the gray wires. They are going to also be producing a 5S compatible version. And the distinction between those will, they will have orange wires. So you'll be able to tell at a glance what you have. And what they, the difference really is gonna be in the KV. So to, they're both gonna be 2207 sized motors. These are 2500 KV. The 5S ones are gonna be 1750 KV. And they did tell me they will have them in the FPV crate store, so you can buy them. They should be in the store like sometime next week. And they'll have both these versions as well, the 5S versions in the store. They did say that they have enough quantity to actually sell them, because obviously they only gave us four packs. So if we crash and have a problem, we need to buy a replacement, then they'll have replacements on the website depending on how good sales are and how much interest they are in these motors, they may then continue to restock them. But obviously if people don't like them or they're just not selling too good, then they're not gonna then restock. It may be a one-off, it may be, you know, diamond in the rough, I don't know. One thing I will say about motors, and this is why it's flagged in that orangey peach color and also the gate. So let's talk about the gate first, cause that's at the top. All I'm flagging in that those two items in this color is because I don't necessarily agree so much with their prices. And here's what I mean. We'll do a little And what you'll see here, this is what I'm going to call the Tronage Average Adjustment. I'm not going to use this for comparison. I'm just using it for informational purposes. But the purpose of these slight changes is this. For this micro race gate, you can go and buy the tiny Whoop brand one. They come in like a pack of four and it comes out less than $8. I think it's like six something or it's like 21 or $22 for four of them. So I said, you know what? It's a little lower in price that you can get the tiny Whoop one than the FPV crate one. So why don't we just make things fair and we'll just average those two prices together. And that's the price you see over there. Same thing with these motors. These motors are sort of untested. They're essentially a one-off as of right now. Where do they really land? Like, in my opinion, motors have, it's what I call the 10, 20, 30 theory. Budget motors are about $10, mid-range are about $20, and top of the end motors are usually about $30. These are coming in at 18, which is falls into my category of mid-range. Personally, I don't ever buy mid-range motors because I'm either gonna go full-on brand, high performance, high cost, you know, kick butt, or I'm gonna go budget style and get the cheapest I can because it's really affordable. Why is it affordable? Because at $10 a motor and you need four of them, that's $40 to build a quad. If you use the mid-range, you're looking at $80 to build the quad, and if you're using high-end motors, you're looking at $120 just in motors to build that quad. So when I'm doing, you know, test builds or beater builds, I'll use budget style motors. Now who's to say this is a mid-range motor? You know, this might be really equivalent to a budget motor. Being a one-off, I don't even know that there's no real guarantee that I can definitely get more of these if I decide that this is my new motor of choice. I kind of feel it should be not thoroughly classified as a mid-range per se. I haven't tried them, I, I could be completely wrong, but I'm just going off of a gut instinct. And what I mean by that is my motor of choice for budget motors are the uh, the DYS Sam Gook Wheeze and the Sam Gook Shoes. Uh, those are the two motors I use really in all my builds because for $10 a piece, you really can't go wrong. So in my mind, I'm thinking if I'm gonna be 
putting a value to these and there's nothing to compare to because these these are what they are i said let's average the cost of one of these and average the cost of a samguk together and put those together and that would be my average cost for it and that's the price you see to the left of me but like i said i'm not going to use this for any comparison this is my own gut instinct but even with that adjustment we're still there at 22 dollars over the cost of this box in bonus value which is so huge for me this baseline is twenty dollars as long as i get twenty dollars in value to me that's enough to sacrifice getting to pick what i want because even if I get stuff I'm not really interested in, I still got about $20 of bonus value and that makes me very happy. Over that, I'm ecstatic. Lower than that, I start getting grumpy. But now, ooh, we'll bring it back to the MSRP, the actual values, and you'll see we're now at $40 of value MSRP. So if these motors truly do perform like a mid-range motor, then this box is stupendous. We are at $40 over the cost of the box. And I would, I mean, that's, I'm floored by that amount of value. That's really huge and really killer. And like I said, I, I called it November and December are going to be very interesting months for all of the boxes. So I'm very curious to see how these other boxes retaliate because this is going to be a, a tough one to beat throwing in a set of motors in there. But last year, December, 2018, Quad Box did throw a set of the Hype Train Blaster motors in there, which was insane. So maybe they're ramping up to do something along those lines. I don't know, I'm not privy to that information, but here's hoping, really hope. If you like what you see here and you're thinking about maybe subscribing to one of these boxes, specifically in this video, we're talking about the FPV Crate. If you're thinking about subscribing to FPV Crate, please, Use that link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help support this channel and it does help me bring better content and more content to you. So if you're planning on subscribing, please use that link down below. All right, so as always, my name's Tronage. Fly strong. <laughs>